Now, 800 CHAB presents Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. With Heritage Insurance, Greg Marcinek at Heritage Insurance, a great time of year. We can dust off the pedal bikes and get busy, buddy. But, but, we have to follow the rules. That's correct, Rob. I know I was driving home the other night and, uh, I saw all these kids, they're all excited, spring is here and they're driving around and uh, unfortunately a couple of kids just raced right across and I was watching, fortunately for me. And uh, what I want to just talk about is uh, when the parents are starting out with these kids, uh, it's imperative that they give them good habits right off the start because, you know, when kids get on the bike, it's for play. And as time progresses, it actually becomes a mode of transportation for them. And it's imperative that if you get the children to have the right skills right off the start, then you can feel safe about your child riding the bike as he gets older. So first of all, when you get a bike, for a young child make sure that it's not either too big or too small uh, it's uh, if it is it's a safety hazard and 10 uh, speed bikes for younger kids are not a good idea because they can't get their hands around the brakes so make sure that uh, you know that they're able to straddle the bike with both feet on the ground now for young children these are hard and fast rules first of all no playing on the road with your bike uh, secondly is definitely no riding on busy streets and no riding at night as well and stop for all stop signs like just what happened to me the other night these kids just boom right through uh, and as well ride on the right with the traffic and again make your own decisions so uh, a, a lot of the common dangers are that number one most are falls and collisions are you know with stationary objects and uh, collisions with other bikes or pedestrians uh, result from bicyclists losing control. So uh, again, they usually uh, are around within a five block area, so they should be very familiar with the surroundings. Mm -hmm. The other thing that they've got to be very aware is uh, when you're actually following other bicycles, don't all assume that the other bicycler is doing the right thing. Like if you're coming up to a stop sign, make sure that they do stop and as well when they are turning teach them how to turn as far as with their signals get them to learn the signals and the proper signals and again if uh, your dark comes do not allow them to ride like uh, you want them to just ride their bike home or else call home and pick them up because that's where a lot of accidents happen at night where there are collisions with the vehicle so those are just a few of the of the tips that uh, just wanted to go through and again uh, riding with a helmet as well is definitely and uh, again always stop the stop signs and as far as a parent you know practice what you teach because uh, monkey see monkey do those kids see what their parents are doing so just follow those few steps and uh, they'll be responsible riders and for uh, insurance purposes sir we should have our bicycles registered uh, yes, you should let them, uh, as far as pedal bikes, uh, good idea if it depended upon the value to let your broker know if they're specialty bikes that we do mm -hmm. add them on. Greg Marson at Heritage Insurance. You can find all these tips online at nohassleinsurance.ca or drop in and see Greg and the folks at Heritage Insurance in downtown Moose Jaw. This has been Ask the Expert on 800 CHAB. 